Hello and welcome to a surprisingly difficult race. Not difficult because it's fast, difficult because it's slow. And we're going to get into more of that right away here. Now first off, that's not going to work. There we go. I want a bit of a challenge. Can't have this too easy. And I really like how this looks. Kind of looks like fire on the side there. I like what I did with my uh, vinyl design on this one. So this car is super expensive to fully upgrade. Wink, wink. Not particularly. 103,600 R dollars and 21 gold. So I'm fully upgraded. Now, this car will amplify your mistakes drastically. Because it's so slow, small mistakes have a gargantuan impact on your abilities. I've heard from different people who have trouble going seven kilometers or even six kilometers. And actually, you'll see why. So you've got to really maximize what you're doing in this car. And I'm going to get into that. Also, we gotta make sure we monitor the clock. Okay, so watch this. You're gonna notice here that I'm actually gonna lay back. I actually overfilled my timer a little bit. I don't like doing that. Here, I'm gonna lay back. Why is that? Well, look at my timer. It's about to hit 87. If I pass this guy right now, it, I, it can't go beyond 90, so I'm throwing away time. So I'm gonna take it a little bit slow, and then same with this next car. I'm not just gonna go whizzing by him. I'm gonna take it a little bit easy, not too easy, but I'm gonna time it really close. See, there we go, now I'm ready to pass. Almost totally filled my timer. That's making good use of every single bot. Each bot is worth 10 seconds. If your timer is at 88, oh, nuts, I wasted something. If your timer is at 88 when you pass a bot, you only got two seconds out of that. Like if it was 88.00 and you pass a bot, you could only get one point, no, you can get 90 seconds on the nose. So this time, I don't mind because I know I'm only getting six seconds a lap. That's it, this does not pay very much. So you gotta really maximize this. So braking here on the throttle very early. Really watch your drive. You do not want to have any skidding, no sliding, no skidding, no off track. So watch coming up here. There's a little bit of a shadow going across the track. That's my braking point when I'm on track and I go a little bit off track after that with two tires. Then on full throttle, full throttle for all of this. Watch on your left, just after the curve ends, I'm on the brakes for very little, and then gas. Watch over on your left here, that green section, you can have your left side tires on the grass, your right side tires on that green section, and it's not off track. So we're gonna push that a little bit later here. So again, watch, on the throttle very early, as long as the distance marker doesn't turn red, you're technically not off track. So what that means is your car's handling and everything is gonna be exactly the same except for the brakes. The brakes don't work as good when you have two tires off track. But acceleration, top speed, and grip are all fine. So you can notice this, I'm really watching my race line. Far over to the left, a little bit on the brakes, so a little bit late there. So I'm gonna to to be careful in my drive out. There we go, none of that's off track. Here is where people have trouble. See, there's no bots in front of me, right? So if you've been abusing the clock, meaning you were overfilling your clock, then you're gonna be in trouble. Clean, careful racing. Because you watch what happens right away. You get rewarded. It's very strange. This is supposed to be just the Nissan Skyline, but very quickly, we have other cars showing up. And they are what gonna cause a bit of a problem for, not for me, it's gonna help me, but it makes the, the other Nissans stack up because I think it's Mazdas. I think these are RX-3s. I think. Let's see here. So that's, uh, that's another Nissan 2000. But I think that's a Mazda. Pretty sure that's a Mazda. Which is interesting because they're not supposed to be in this series. But here they are. So they start sky stacking up the Skylines. What's weird is because they're appearing later, the game would consider them to have a higher PR rating. Now, I haven't looked at that car for a long time. Um, it's not faster, at least not the way they're driving it, but maybe it has better grip or better brakes, and that can definitely skew the PR numbers. But look at this, look at all these bots. So, yeah, I mean, now this is no problem at all. Ooh, a little bit loose, there you go, all the way onto the green, not off track. Now two tires are off track. I'm gonna pass this guy on the outside, because I wanna set up the next braking point. And Ugh, two tires off track there. Definitely gonna throw me off a bit. You're gonna notice that once in a while I'm feathering the throttle. Tilt B controls, you need to learn the tilt B controls. Tilt A is fine, tilt B 
for most people it's going to be better. It has all the advantages of Tilt A, but with the better advantage of being able to coast, which is fabulous for when you lose traction. Oh, off track again. Um, that's definitely not to my betterment. That's that's a detriment to me because this thing really slows down off track. So you'll notice um, when you lose traction with Tilt Day, just let off the accelerator, correct, and get right back on it. With Tilt with tilt B, I meant to say. When you lose traction with Tilt B, let off the accelerator, correct, immediately get back on. Sometimes it's just fractions of a second. With Tilt A, when you lose traction, you're going to keep on sliding because you're all gas or all brakes, nothing else. Check this out. None of this is off track. Very careful. Now, I've got to be careful where I'm braking. I could get, I could get a uh, kamikaze ghost where they just smash into you. Okay, I think, uh, what, inside? No, I'm going to go outside so I can have, have a better race line here. Uh, I have to feather a little bit. Pretty good. So already I'm going to be hitting my targets of 12.3. I would really like to hit 16 kilometers. I've hit 15 here a few times. I haven't ever, haven't ever gone beyond that. Ooh, I'm giving up some speed there. Nuts. You see that? I was sliding and I feathered the throttle, corrected my steering. And so, yeah, so for some people who can't even go 10 kilometers, um, some people are saying, oh, why don't you just go offline? That won't help people because some people can't get past eight. So going offline, you could still be seeing 10.2. You could see actually as high as 10 point, highest I've ever seen with offline bots is 10.6. But obviously I blew way past that, right? So yeah, this is how you do it. Nürburgring circuit, the really short version of Nürburgring and blasting oh drifting i don't want to be drifting not in this car boy honestly as far as a lot of the cars we drive in real life are concerned this is still a pretty good car it's just not very good compared to real racing 3 but it's iconic i like it it's kind of a cool car so here with the proper race line full throttle i'm gonna have to do outside pass again on this guy ah nuts i'd rather be inside but i really want this race line drifting a little bit again I don't like that although usually when I'm here my timers in the red so I am about 10 seconds ahead of where I've been any other time but where is the bots nuts way out there and that wasn't great okay I'm gonna do something interesting here I'm gonna try to take a different way around this next section just to see if I can overtake a bot I'm gonna go off track a little bit I'm hoping I'm gonna be able to catch a bot doing this because otherwise I'm done. So watch this. Get back on the throttle. And this is still on. This is this is just, you know, another part of the circuit. Uh, I didn't get there. Oh, I got my 16. Woohoo! 0 0.01, 0 0.02. I don't know. Is that 0 0.03? So that's pretty good. 0 0.04. Wow, that's a record for me. Okay, so there you go, guys. Not a very high paying race, but a challenging race. And you know what? Learning how to drive a car like this will make you better in other cars. Those skills are transferable. So please like, please subscribe, check out some of the videos, and I'll see you out there on the track.